Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the lifecycle method component did mount. Uh, most web developers at some point need to call an API endpoint to retrieve data. If you're working with React, it's important to know where to perform this action. The best practice with React is to place API calls or any calls to your server in the lifecycle method component did mount. This method is called after a component is mounted to the DOM. Any calls to set state here will trigger a re-rendering of your component. When you call an API in this method and set your state with the data that the API returns, it will automatically trigger and update once you receive the data. There is a mock API call in component did mount. Here's a mock API call. I guess it's just, uh, the reason it's mock is just they're setting a timeout and then they're, saying, then they're setting the state of the users. Uh, uh, it sets state after 2.5 seconds, 2,500 milliseconds, to, stim, to simulate calling a server to retrieve data. This example requests the current low total active users for a site. In the render method, render the value of active root users in the H1 element. Okay, active users. So we want to change the code in here. And we're going to set this to... Uh, the active users. So we want to say this. So this, meaning all of this, dot state. State. And then we want whatever number is within the active users. So we say uh, dot active users. Because active users is a key in the value. And then so here, did you see how that took a little bit? It took 2.5 seconds in order for that to render. Let's watch it again. One, two, and a half. There we go. One, two, seven, three. It just said it here. Now this could be an API call, which would be much more sensible. And this would then therefore uh, be retrieving uh, actually useful data rather than just making it say 125 after two and a half seconds. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, let's go into it one more time just in depth. So we have, uh, first off we render my component and then this one has a, constr it's a constructor. So it's a it's a class component that holds a state, and its state is active users at null. And then there is a function which renders. Uh, and so once, I think, it just runs this immediately, perhaps. And then it waits until this gives us a result. And then uh, it, oh, then it uh, changes the state. Yeah, so it's just saying, like, once this function is called. I'm just making this up. I'm not exactly sure. But once this se section is called, it's going to adjust the state. And so the state will be here. But in the meantime, this is already re rendered. This is this was rendered immediately after this was declared. And because this is, you know, an immediate function to run, uh, they set the active users and that's why it's set to uh, it's set to nil at the beginning, right? The active users actually doesn't have anything until two and a half seconds. So before active users was there, this it, it had just rendered to this, the state of, of zero active users. If we set this to zero, you'll actually see it better. Because this is zero, and then two and a half seconds later, this thing has finished running, and then it updates the state, and the state is now goes from zero to one, two, seven, three, and then, so the state is updated, even though this was a, an asynchronous uh, API type call um, that uh, got it done. Oh, uh, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you in the next lesson.